Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Galaxy S9 Pi Beta, the one with the Samsung One UI. Now before I begin, um, this is only for Exynos models of Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Alright, before I begin, I assume that you already have your phone rooted with Twerp Recovery installed. If you don't have that, I do have a full tutorial on that, follow that first. You don't actually have to root your phone, you just need to install Twerp Recovery. Alright, once you have installed Twerp Recovery, you're good to go. You're going to need to download um, the actual ROM file. Um, go ahead and download the latest file for today. I've downloaded the G96XF blah blah. It's a ROM by XA user soldier 9312. I have the R5 which just came out. This is the beta 2 that just came out last night. So go ahead and download that. And you may also need to download the latest bootloader all right, and the CP. If you don't have that, go ahead and download that also. So two files for most of you. If you're on the latest bootloader, you should be good to go. Just download the latest uh, ROM file. That's it. But I do recommend installing the latest BL and CP. So go ahead and download that. And you're going to go ahead and power off your phone. right? And you're going to boot into Tor Recovery. Volume up. Center home. And power. All right. When you see the logo, keep holding down the volume up and the Bixby. Sorry, I, I meant volume up, Bixby and power. Not center home. So I got it confused. Um, next, what you want to do is do a wipe and do a factory reset. For those of you installing this new, um, if you're upgrading to a new version, you can go and download the new version. And uh, since I've already got it installed, I'm going to pretend I'm upgrading. All right? If you're upgrading, you don't need to do that. I'm going to install and go ahead and choose the ROM file All right? and swipe. And just go ahead and follow the graphical uh, installation process here, which I'll walk you through. Hit agree. Next, next. Um, so here you can go ahead and actually do just clean flash here. Um, do a dirty flash if you're upgrading like mine. If you're doing a new flash, just do clean flash. Um, I do recommend using Magisk. Also, you can have it no root if you want. And these are um, apps if you want to remove any of it. All right, I'm just going to install it all. And you can go ahead and choose from different emojis and also different fonts. You can actually get the 1160 font pack, which is really nice. Um, Boot Splash. All right, um, if you need to use Netflix, make sure to fix HD Netflix streaming. And there's an additional Kodak for Bluetooth aptX, if you want to use that. Now, this is great where you can go ahead and remap your Bixby button to camera, Google Voice, Google Search, blah, blah, blah. Um, contacts, all this stuff. I set it to Google Voice. And also you can enable camera during call, all these additional options, call recording, caller ID if you need it. Um, I like to disable the anti-malware because it doesn't really help. I just I just disable it because it's just annoying. Um, all right, once you got the all the options, kernel, that's the default kernel. Next, it will install the ROM. Hit next when that's done. Finish. If, if this is the first time installing it, I do recommend installing BLCP. So I'm going to say no. All right, just the first time you need to install the latest BLCP. So I'm going to go ahead and install. And I'm going to install the flashable BLCP I downloaded. And this will install the latest bootloader and modem. All right. And um, once you have it installed, you should be good. You don't really have to update. But you can always up to the latest one if you want and if you don't install this and if you're on the older bootloaders such as nougat or oreo it might not boot so if you end up in a boot loop this could be the reason why and also sometimes it doesn't flash the first time so you may have to install it twice all right if you end up in a boot loop or something then reboot into torp recovery and install uh, bootloader and modem again if you're in the boot loop go ahead and hold down volume down and power like that for 30 seconds and then as soon as it reboots, you're going to hold down volume up, big speed and the power. All right. That's how you get into tour recovery when you're in bootload, a uh, boot loop. Now I didn't do a uh, wipe, so you'll see that it's just optimizing and I boot it right in. Um, but if you're flashing a brand new ROM, um, you should be able to get it booting within about five minutes. So you might have to wait a little bit longer, but uh, once you boot it, you see the welcome screen, you should be good to go. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, it's still starting. And boom shakalaka. 
All right, go ahead and sign in and boom shakalaka. You'll be able to enjoy the latest Android 9.0 Pi with Samsung One UI. I hit the thumbs up for me. Have a great day. And as always, stay on Android.